Hello and welcome to Maze Let's Plays. Here is the partner with the letter in front of him to apologize for the horrific story he told about Karma Lounge and Pancake Day in the previous two episodes. I apologize for saying such disgusting things that me and my friend did in Karma Lounge that fateful night. I currently have stink lines around me, my, sm my butt smells, and I like to scratch my own butt. I apologize. <laughs> oh, Christ. I was trying to keep quiet during that. Hello! <laughs> Welcome to Mainland's Place with the partner. Say hello. Hello. <laughs> and we are carrying on with our... Right. <laughs> <rain. laughs> I'm, I'm trying to do the intro now. It's I'm all right. Right, right, right. <laughs> hello and welcome to Mate Let's Plays with the partner. Say hello. Hello. And we are carrying on with our... Rayman Legends playthrough. Uh, like, the partner has already apologized, so let's get going! Right, we are on to Arbored Toad. Yep. Yes. The management has had to have a word with the partner, and like I said, those stink lines will be there until the YouTube community decides that he is forgiven for what he did. And the fact that he needs to admit Karma Ma Karma Lounge? Karma Lounge sounds like a gay bar. Oh sounds my god, it sounds like a gay bar! It sounds like a place that may serve Indian food! Which no, it does not <laughs> Right, okay, It's what? Tom Jones' favourite restaurant! <laughs> Tom Jones isn't allowed in certain parts of Wales, do you know that? Well, it was his favourite place to have an Indian. Yeah. Did they you? Ha <laughs> they had a lot of his photos in that restaurant, it was really creepy. The Karma, Lou <laughs> Karma Lounge sounds like a gay bar. What are the gay bars around us? There's Crystals, which is no longer here, but there's Crystals, Bar NY, and the Camelot, the Birdcage. See, it sounds like a gay bar. Anyway, YouTubers out there, why don't you tell us what your gay, gay lounge, gay bar's called? Not yours personally. Hey, and if you're into that type of thing, we ain't gonna judge oh. you at all. We are completely relaxed here in Maze Let's Play towards people's sexuality. I just want the partner to admit it sounds like a gay bar. Yeah. What? Oh, I knew the guy who owned that place. <laughs> what place? Come on. Well, you did. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, so what should we talk about this episode? I met the, I met the, the lead bartender's daughter as well. I was the people... there like pretty much at her birth. Okay. Anyway. Until like a few days after. Okay. I knew that guy when his daughter was born. I did. I met him recently down in Wales. Did you? Yeah, he's a nice guy called Will. Defoe? Yeah, Willem Defoe. Met Willem Defoe down in Wales. Who knew he was? He had a part-time job as a coder. A coder? Yeah, programmer. Oh, I thought you meant like on a, on a musical score he was a coder. <laughs> <laughs> Even though I think that's a... No, it is a coder. Isn't it? To begin... I don't know why I'm asking you, like, you know anything about No, music. I know nothing about music. I have about awful taste. You... D oh my god. <laughs> Alright, I know we've, we've had to discuss, but I do want to mention the fact that when the partner here, as I, as he's said before, he is a self-employed illustrator at Inky Arms, uh, at gmail.com, trying to give your email address then. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Arms at uh, gmail.com. Yeah. Even though he is an illustrator, when he does his artwork, what he sounds like. This is all I hear. Well, I can't even do what I hear. Basically, he hums and haws a lot. And he does it in a sort of rhythmic fashion. You can see where I'm going with this. While listening to J-pop. And if you stand at the right angle. Slightly behind him. With his arm going, drawing straight lines. It looks like... He's drawing a leg. That's all I'll say. It looks like he's drawing his leg, and that's all I'll say. I thought you were going to say, like, stroking a cat or something. Stroking a cat makes more sense. Yeah. It looks like not, it not the thing I might possibly have been doing. <laughs> oh, he, that guy from behind, that guy looks like he's drawing something. Or, like, seeing a plumber from behind. It's like, oh, what's that plumber doing? I think he's plumbing. <laughs> Fine. If you stand behind him at the right angle, it looks like he's stroking a cat very v vigorously. Yeah, very vigorously. Yeah. Cats oh. like vigorous strokes, apparently. Oh. I apologize, by the way, if there is a slight hum in the background of this video. 
Yeah, we've got the uh, fan on because, man, it's hot in this place. Yes. The storms over England have finally passed. Which one will we be doing? Both we'll, do, of them. we'll do both of them. Right, cool. Because cool. it's not. It's not Castle Rock, I'll be honest with you. It's not as impressive as the last one, so. No. Nah. No. That one does take the cake of them all. Yeah, especially when you're not expecting it. Because we had to, when we did it on our own, we had to listen to that three or four times, was it, before I let us move on to yeah. a different level? <laughs> yeah, it was awesome! Much. And I mean awesome in the in the truest of sense, not like in the, we've got ten hot dogs awesome. Oh man, ten hot dogs. That does sound like a good time. <laughs> and you say you wasn't a gay bar. <laughs> oh yeah, ten hot dogs. Ten hot dogs. <laughs> Sorry. I'll be down with having ten hot dogs. Really? Hell yeah. I'm not a big fan of hot dogs. To be fair, I don't think I could handle ten hot dogs. Depending on what type of hot dog they are. Do you know what? Jesus Christ. This is Rayman Legends, the hot dog begins, isn't it? Yeah, pretty We've much. We've moved back onto the hot dog. I, I will have heated debates about hot dogs because there's one currently in my mind right now. <laughs> which is when when a shop in England will sh say they sell hot dogs when clearly it's sausage rolls in a bap. <laughs> Sorry, it's sausages in a bap. Well, you ever seen that? Like well, when you go to a butcher's shop or like um. Yeah. Like something like Greg's or something, like a panty shop, and they're just like straight out just going like, Oh yeah, we do hot dogs here. You don't. That's that's a sausage. I can tell the difference between a sausage and a hot dog, sir. You are false advertising. What's the difference between a sausage and a hot dog? Worlds. Worlds are different. Well, that doesn't explain anything. <laughs> explain what the difference between a hot dog and a sausage is. Uh, different meat content and diff uh, different uh, skins. Oh, right, and herbs enough. and spices. Yeah. Well, that, that, that there answers it. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, damn. My joke failed. <laughs> uh, did, I <laughs> did I tell you I was out the other day with a friend of mine? Not yesterday. The is this the same level? I think we've done the same level. No, yeah, this no, is the this, same no, level. This one's no. got spiky instead of smooth. Oh, okay. But yeah, I was out the other day with my friend. Love and I it. tend to, when I get excited, talk very loudly, as does the partner. It's quite funny. Yeah. But we were in public, and my friend gets very embarrassed listening to me talk. This is a different friend from college. This one we'll call W. And, yeah, she actually had to text me to tell me to calm down. <laughs> yeah, to tell me to calm down, because I was... Talking too loudly about some very dark stuff, as you know if you watched our Tekken videos. The fact that we have had to cut out so much content from these videos. And not content that you won't notice, but in between takes, oh, it gets dark, doesn't it? Yeah, we, we definitely have a darker sense of humour in real life than we do on this channel. Yeah. This, this channel, we try and keep clean, hence well, the apology. Yeah, try to keep <laughs> clean. You're the one talking about what you talked about, and I don't want it mentioned again. But yeah. <laughs> the partner here said to me, don't ask me any stories about university if you, don't, if you can't handle... You can't, the you can't matter. Matter. <laughs> the so, amount of alcohol that I might have currently drank at yeah. university. And, yeah, I don't understand it. University what? students out there. The culture? Yeah. Uh, it's your first time away from your folks, really. You're on your own and you have a large amount of cash to spend. Yeah. That's I'm pretty much the whole entire reasoning for university life. I'm I don't know what money means, but I'll find out in three years' time. I moved out young, so I don't. I never had to experience the whole, the whole university like oh on my own because I was kind of doing that anyway. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah, it's a whole different experience when you know you're living in halls, which technically, well, it doesn't actually have rent to say like I what I thought it. it does, but it's not like real rent. Oh, is it token rent? It's pretty much you pay for everything and everything is provided for you. You don't pay. You don't pay extra for gas. You don't pay extra for water and stuff like that. All right. You just it's all it's an all-in-one bill. Which you know, if you do, if you are renting a, a flat or anything, oh, yeah. getting an all-in-one apartment fucking rocks. No, it really doesn't. <laughs> Mine did. <laughs> yeah, please. I've lived on my own for how long now? Trust me, it doesn't rock. Cause. Uh, 
That's when I I once had a word with my estate agent when I was planning to move out of the flat we are currently in now. And they I just happened to catch them while they're on the phone to someone. And like, because I'm a nosy person, I'm like, oh, what was that about? Because I could hear the guy getting very frustrated. I'm like, oh, what's up, what's up with him? Apparently what was happening was he was getting very upset that his online gaming was slowing down. Now, they'd had complaints about this guy because he ha was known to pirate movies, have, like, Netflix on or YouTube while online gaming, and using up the whole entire block's bandwidth. Ooh. And he got upset that somebody was also using the internet. Yeah. So that's why I never want to get into a, a like a halls type situation. To be fair, the place that I had, it was it, it didn't give you uh, didn't give you internet, so you had to you had to get your own internet. Oh. But gas was done and water was covered for you. Yeah, water's the big one. Uh, and yeah, we didn't even have gas because it was all, it was all electric in that, in the place that we were living in. Should we say goodbye now and leave this on silence and we'll make it a thing? Sure. Yeah. yeah. All right. So enjoy your orchestral chaos, and we will leave you with love if you leave us with a comment. Bye.